So positive changes that hyperpressives can make. Wow. I mean, it's an extensive list, but just to try and um, dial, uh, try and, oh, what's the word? Squash it down a little bit. That's not the word, but anyway, um, it, it strengthen, strengthens the core muscles by getting them to work as they should do and getting them to communicate better. It improves posture and body awareness. So that's all about proprioception. That's those postures that you see us doing when we're doing hyperpressives. That is educating your muscles to work in a better way and not to have your head, shoulders, neck, everything forward, heading towards the ground, which is not great when you when you start to age. Um, it enhances pelvic floor function by, as I said before in other videos, getting that connection and that uh, relationship between the pelvic floor and the diaphragm working as it should do so that the diaphragm is moving more laterally and the pelvic floor oscillates and moves with it and therefore is helping to increase blood flow, um, reduce tension. And also the last one, as we're squashing them down, it increases respiratory capacity. So um, if you're an athlete, if you're doing training, it's gonna improve um, your tolerance to CO2 and it's going to help you with endurance so um, you'll be able to go longer and faster etc etc so that was a very di uh, squashed down not it's not diluted anyway whatever the word is that was a very squashed down version of um, positive changes that you get from hyperpressives